Yeah, so this will be a week one training and you guys can see kind of where I'm stopping her as far as her reps in the tank go. So hopefully it's uh, educational for y'all. You get a lot out of it. We're gonna get to it. So I'm just putting together my pre-workout. I actually had forgot my hostility at home back in Texas. <laughs> so I've actually just been having my caffeine, but I still have my blood shot. I have my Pico 2. I have some creatine that I mix together and my glutamine as well. So I'm just mixing that together real quick and gonna take that before we start training here. What do you think of the gym? So far what I see, it looks really cool. I'm oh, feeling yeah. the whole vibe right now. Lighting. I'm a little tired this morning, but I'm ready to go. And I'm excited to get a good pump here. <laughs> Setting this up for Ash. High incline, super high incline. For a figure competitor, we don't need to build a shitload of chest muscles. Yeah. And right now we're just doing maintenance volume to begin with. So the high incline helps to hit a lot more front delt and tricep. Still getting a little bit of chest in there. This is the exercise Ashley picked. She's a very good at programming for herself actually. So she's been doing it for a long time. Thanks. We got to train together in San Antonio for a couple of years actually, mm -hmm. which was a fucking awesome time. Mm -hmm. And then Ashley kind of took over from there. So when we sat there on the couch and you saw us ride out her mesocycle, that was all to Ashley's suggestions. And she, knew, she knows she's mini cutting, so she knows the volume's gonna be lower. She knows that she needs to do mostly heavy compound stuff. So that's what we're doing. Setting up the high incline, uh, mostly for front delt tricep. Week one, day one. Let's get it. Let's do it. So Let's we'll warm up to your working weight. This is actually really cool. I wonder if you can see this. Yeah. So first week, right? Week one, day one. There's no working weight. We're picking her rep range. It's a mini cut, so that rep range is gonna be more in the lower range. I usually stick with the five to 10 range for heavy compounds when you're doing a mini cut. So we're gonna go up to a working weight, depending on what Ashley picks that she'll land within that five to 10 rep range with two in the tank. Week one, day one, for Ash, that's, we'll see what that's gonna be. This is a heavy ass Smith machine, but she knows pretty well. That's how you do a whole warm up. That's how you potentiate all that good stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and find her working weight and then I'll show you what, what that looks like afterwards. Guys, just remember the bigger the boob job, the less range of motion you have to do. Yeah. <laughs> that's the only, honestly, like, I don't know. What is Mike? It's a bittersweet relationship. <laughs> like I want more rum. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't, it's not sore yet. That's the only issue that I do have with having my breasts done is um, they can kind of get in the way and sometimes it just feels weird and sometimes I kind of get like a weird little sensation on my right side. So I have to be careful with movements, certain movements. This one's feeling okay? Yeah, this okay. one feels good though, so. Let's add, this is a heavy ass machine, right? It is. You wanna add like tens at first? Yes. And, okay. Yep. Yeah, I think that'd be good. Good? Yes. You sure? You don't wanna yes. go up a little bit? With weight or? Like five on each side? Yeah, we can add five. That'd be and, 75. And I mean, on this, it's more like 100. <laughs> yeah, I could do it. And we're doing how many reps? So five, to five to 10. Five to 10. Two in the tank. I could do. Yeah? Yeah. So, five. fives? Yep. Okay. Per usual, this will be the potentiation set, the last working or the last warm-up set before working sets. Um, we'll see okay, how she I feels. Oh. See if she's good with this weight. Yeah. I think this will be a good weight. Um, so one to two reps here, Ash. Okay. Perfect technique. Pause on the top of the chest. Great control. Good, rack. Hell yeah. I feel good. Good. I felt good. That'll, that'll it be good feel, for five to 10? Huh? That'll be good for five to 10? Yeah. I think I'll be perfect. And it doesn't affect my wrists, obviously. Putting that at 75, I count most implements as 45 pounds so that it's gym math. Cause I'm a big fucking dumb bodybuilder. So it makes it way easier for me. So everything is 45 pounds. The leg press is 45 pounds. The Smith machine is 45 pounds any back machine, 45 pounds. If you're adding weight to it, it's 45 fucking pounds. I don't care if it's zero pounds. So she's using 75 pounds, counting the Smith is 45. Um, we're gonna go into the set one. She's gonna do two in the tank. So she's just going until she feels like she has two left. And for us, we're trying to aim for that five to 10 range, which is why we picked this weight. Um, and you do that for every single muscle group. So if, there, if we were gonna go in the 15 to 20 range, we would have maybe used 60 pounds or something like that. Um, and that would have landed in that with two in the tank. So. 
We're gonna see what this first set looks like. Two in the tank, 75 pounds. Let's get after it. Why is it actually so jacked? It makes me feel bad about myself. Who, me? Yeah. We call Ashley the humbler. The humbler. Any gym she walks into, everybody's like. <laughs> Maybe I should change my IG name to the humbler. the humbler. IFBB the humbler. <laughs> <laughs> You're stupid. That would be my wrestling name. Oh my God. Go into the ring, the humbler. You and Brian Cage can have an exhibition match Ooh. right now. We should, I should talk to you about it. Yeah. Okay, ready? Let's get it, Ash. Great. Let's go until you got two left. I'll let you call it on your count. Two. Ooh. Make sure you pause. Big chest. Nice pause on the top. Four. Yep. All right. Great control. One more. Let's get it. Good. That was about two I had two left, yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. There y'all go. That felt really good. And you know what? Keeping my chest big is is key, yeah. right? So I think that maybe... That's for your shoulder health. Maybe that's my issue, though. Maybe sometimes I drop my chest to where yeah, when probably. I drop it, because once I kind of dropped it, I could feel it start to kind of... Yeah. Likely. That's likely what's happening. Like that whole... Uh, and I've talked about this on my channel so much, it's hilarious. So people will like talk about not retracting and depressing the shoulder blades on pressing movements. And I have no idea where the fuck it came from, but it's completely ass backward advice. Cause your shoulder, when you retract and depress your scapula, it keeps what, so the shoulder looks like this, the shoulder joint. You ever seen a picture of a shoulder joint? Yeah. It's like a little ball and tee, right? Mm -hmm. And whenever you're forward like this, you're literally causing an impingement. So you're going like this and knocking into a bunch of shit in there. So people are like, you should like move your scaps freely when you're pressing. It's the dumbest advice to give anybody. I don't know where the fuck it came from. So the fact that you said like, oh, I really felt like weird pinches in my fucking chest, my shoulder, whenever I caved in. Yeah, for sure. Because you're taking that golf off the tee with fucking weight in your hand, which is then even more impinging. Mm -hmm. So if you just really keep a big chest at the top, as you're coming down, press the chest up like this and keep your scapula there. That Don't go like sense. this. That makes sense, yeah. Yeah. That's my issue. That's probably what was going on. So we'll do you on your next set and see how it feels? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's like I'm trying to touch the top of my shoulders with the top of my butt cheeks. Okay. So you're literally like trying to push them together. That makes sense. So bring your ass this way and your shoulders back this way to create a big arch. Like that? Yeah, exactly. Good. Yep, big chest. <clears throat> Great stuff. <clears throat> yep. <clears throat> Your call. Yeah. Good stuff. <laughs> Good shit, good shit. <laughs> so that's perfect. Uh, this, Seven sounds six. this sounds really weird me saying this, but Jared knows my body. <laughs> <laughs> I know that body so well. I know her and Mike's body simultaneously. When we first started training together, like he would like call before, he's like, no, you've got one more, or no, you're, you know what I mean? It was weird because it wasn't even like a psychological thing where he told me and I believed it. It was really like physically my body was either I could do more or I couldn't do it anymore. <laughs> That's really cool. Once you learn like a, like a, a client, kind of like, this goes into a bunch of stuff. So they're, she's a little more fast twitch in the pushing muscles, mm -hmm. which means she shits out really quick. So that really was a two in the tank. Like some of you might be watching and being like, she had like seven left. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> she did two more. She would shit out on that mm -hmm. third one, I promise. Mm -hmm. She's very fast twitch in the upper body. Like I can just like, push forever mm -hmm. um it'll look like i have one left and i'll do like four more <laughs> so she's really good at knowing her internal cues and her ir and all that stuff as well mm -hmm. and then since i trained her for two years like basically a year and a half two years straight mm -hmm. i also got really good at picking that up mm -hmm. so six was good i thought yeah i, I thought so, too. I felt so much like i said it felt 
so much better on me. So yeah. Good. that little cue of chest up and yeah. really Stop, helps. Yeah. I have to remind myself that. I think sometimes we forget those little cues when we're training, just kind of going through the movement. Naturally, I do that sometimes. So I have to remember that. Got it. So I don't blow my implant out, you know? <laughs> <laughs> For this next exercise, we're doing a dumbbell military press. Uh, again, more front delt. So the machine was the heavy compound of the exercise or the, of the session. In this rep range here, for a mini cut, I still stick to that like 10 to 15 range. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and warm up to a weight where she can get 10 to 15 with two in the tank. Okay, so kind of like right here, Jared? Mm -hmm. Kind of Perfect. still chest and Same thing, yeah, big chest. Okay. See how it feels on your shoulder. Okay. Is there anything weird? If there is anything weird, you can feel free to tuck the elbows a little more. So like, kind of like. Yep. No, you're good. Yep. So right do, okay. yeah, exactly like that. Okay. Elbows in a little more. How's that feel? Up. Good. Yep. This is playing with your anthropometry, seeing how you feel. That's good for your shoulder. Feels good. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Uh, Ten to fifteen range. Two in okay. the tank. What do you think? Thirty. Um, Twenty-five. Let's try. Let's try twenty-five. Okay. Yeah, that just works. to ease myself into it. <clears throat> yeah, week one, be smart about your <laughs> be smart about your weight jumps in week one. Especially yeah. since like a mini cut is such an aggressive deficit. Like you're gonna be feeling it by week three. Okay. Um because everything's warmed up, guys, you don't have to potentiate again and go through that whole warm-up process. This is the same muscle groups that she was hitting on the high incline smith. So once you go from an exercise to an exercise that hits similar stuff, feel free to just hop into it. Work up to your working weight and just go right into the working sets. Definitely okay. You ready for this? Yep. 10 to 15, two in the tank. Same thing, nice big chest. Beautiful. Good. Three, good. Four. Mm. Five, let's go. Mm. Seven. Ooh. One ash. Ooh. Watch that transition from. Ooh. Yeah. You got another one? Up. Good. Yes. I was like, okay, this is going to be the last one. <laughs> How's that shoulder? It feels fine. Good? Yeah. Like I said, it's just been a minute doing these, so yeah. it's... That was great. 13? I felt good though, yeah. So go ahead and put 13 on the... Okay, put it on my app, my RP, or my, let's see. So we did 25. Daniel, that's some okay. high tech right there. And then we did 13. Crazy. And as you see, it already kind of shows you like how much you leave, right? And then when you put in your reps, take it away. Very yeah, easy. Did. It's very yeah. if you're yeah. So new it's gonna to be. This, well, I intro with us on the couch, that and then I like was like, we're gonna really put that here, learn. and then so just gonna not just like the screen recording. Like, oh my god, how do I do this? Yeah. But this is very self-explanatory. So it's really easy. Teaches you and guides you on what to do. Okay. Two out of two. Four total working sets for the pushing muscles. Big chest. Yeah. Arrgh. Watch that transition from the eccentric to the concentric phase. Don't just bounce. Like okay. a, you know what I mean? Don't okay. just stretch like a flat, like a squat. There it is. Better. All the way down. Big chest. Now press. Yeah. There it is. Ooh. Nice pause right here. Coming up. There it is. Yep. Last one. Good stuff. Good stuff. The yeah. right one's going out. That's it. Yep. Oh. It's always that right one. It's like it's like the little like yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like a little Grab my strong. Yeah, yeah, that's it's like the weak, it's the I guess the strong arm, weak arm. You know what I'm saying. Look good. So two sets? Yeah, two all sets. Done. All done. 
And then you wanted to try a JM skull, right? Yes, I want to try a JM, JM press. We can just do it with the easy bar since he's on the Smith. Okay. Um, so we'll write that here, like the little put it on notes. on there and just put note it. Yep, so just. So obviously Jared note. is showing me because I am using this, right? So he's showing me some little things. Easy bar. I was gonna say that feels light as fuck. It's light right now. <laughs> right, Let's go ahead and lie down. Okay, let me lie down. Lie down, this, Ashley. Right? I'm gonna okay. put this easy bar on you. Give me that easy There's bar. There's 25 pounds of metal <laughs> pole. I like right. this. Like this? Uh, yeah. Are we right here? Yep. And you can you can do a false grip if you want to. It's not a big deal. Okay. Whatever you want to do. Okay. Uh, go ahead and all the way up. Cool. So, come this way. Wait, what? Come this way. Okay. I want you to like you're gonna do a close grip bench. Okay. Go down with your elbows this way toward your okay. hips. Elbows toward your hips. Break them down this way. Like this. Yep. Now okay. up. Elbows toward your hips. Up. And you can press up and back. That's okay. Up over the eyes. There you go, yes. Beautiful, that's it. Okay. Fight those elbows in the whole time, even on the way up. Elbows towards each other. There you go. Ashley's a fucking technician. It's so easy to teach females how to train. <laughs> True. <laughs> okay. No ego, they just get the technique right right away. We're like, we want to be perfect. They want to be perfect. Oh, I can't go anymore. Oh, it was tough. Holy shit. Yes, what's up? Press. Help me. Oh my God, I can't get it. Jer oh, <laughs> I'm being dead fucking serious. I'm being oh dead God. fucking serious. You fucking died. <laughs> I couldn't get it. So this this is a heavy easy bar. I think oh, it's 30 pounds. I was going to say, how much, yeah. weight more, how much more weight we can put on there? None. This will be good for That's your That's all sets. I need. So that was a working set. It's like this elbow. <laughs> it kind of was like, towards was that it? it starts doing like. Is it cracking or is it pain? Just cracking, right? A little bit of like... More cracking, and then it starts to just get, like, kind of go out more than this side. Okay. I'll watch on the if next one. If that makes sense. I'll watch like the next just, one. We'll yeah. see. Yeah, but it's not like pain. Um, I'm going to grab just a right... Ready? Okay, yeah. Oh, this feels better. A little better? Yeah. Okay. Still pretty heavy, but... Yeah, it's still heavy, though. So elbows in right here, right? Mm -hmm. Tucked in? Yep. Yeah, you're breaking toward the hip first. Okay. Like you're going to do a close grip. No, no, no. With, with your elbows. So okay. they literally go like this. Yeah, yeah. You can lock out over your eyes. Huh? Lock out over your eyes. So press up and up. Yeah, yeah, there That's you go. Right. And then your elbows break towards your hips. Boom. Exactly. There it is. Perfect. One or two more. That's it. Good. Good. That's two in the tank. Yeah. Good stuff. Ooh. You have two or three sets programmed for today. I think two. Does it say two Z's on there or no? Or do we got three? Oh, the fuck I, know. Is I know, look. I hate it. Oh, I wonder. It was upside down, guys. Oh, look, we only have one. Or we have got two, two. I guess. Cool. Yeah. So 30? 30. And I Nine, did... eight, I believe. Ooh. We're on it back, but I think it was nine, eight. Hey. You're okay. Okay. Yes. Well, yes, let Goodbye. me know. I'll we'll chat with you out. soon. Yeah. yeah, no, for sure. Have a nice trip, okay? Okay, and... Say it, Ryan. Okay, cool. Got it. The flaccid mohawk kills the spike mohawk any day of the week, yeah. guys. <laughs> Don't tell Brian I said that. He'll come fucking like choke slam me or whatever his special finisher is. That would be interesting to watch. We may need to have him... Exhibition match. Yeah. Have him show us some moves. <laughs> be fucking right? dope. Me? Yeah. Uh... What, what was the thing? Some guy like headbutted somebody. I'd probably just do something The Rock did, guys. Yeah. The Rock's the shit. The Rock is amazing. Yeah. I, I actually don't know if I liked Black Adam, the movie, or if I'm just that much of a Rock fan. Because I hate fucking DC's cinematic universe. DC sucks, guys. DC loses to Marvel every movie. Agreed. But Black Adam, I really enjoyed it. I love Black Adam. I think we're just fucking... I just, I think, I think fans. we love The Rock. He just absolutely, he just... A, I don't know if it was a good movie or not. I was too mesmerized by The Rock. Yeah, he's he's perfect. <laughs> Seriously. You gotta put those hundreds on there or something.
Come on, Ash. Same thing here, guys. Dumbbell lateral raise. Wouldn't be a good idea to do five to 10. You gotta be a little logical with your exercise selection and rep, rep range selection. So mini cutting, still keeping that at 10 to 15 range. No, no real intensity techniques thrown here. So she's not doing myo reps or anything crazy like that. No supersets. We're just doing maintenance volume, maintaining muscle tissue while she diets down a little bit. So 10 to 15 range here. Last couple reps. Good, no swinging, Ash. All delts. Right back up. Whoa, Whoa. I might have. Went to failure on that one? Yeah. Somewhere? 12 and a half, it's a dumbbell lateral raise. See, You're that's fine. my problem sometimes is like, I don't realize that it's gonna hit me when it hits me. That's all right. But I should have, that's okay. No, it was good, that was a good set. Oh. <laughs> You're only doing okay, a cut for like three weeks, so you're not going to accumulate a shitload of fatigue in that little bit of time. Like, you'll be fine. Yeah. Especially okay. on a lateral delt raise or something. I push, I push pretty fucking hard sometimes in the earlier weeks too. Like, especially with yeah. lateral raises, curls. It's like my biceps shit out so fast. So like, I'll think I have three reps left and I try to go for one more and I'm like, well, that's it. <laughs> oh, well. And also too, don't you think it's like you get like excited about it? Like, oh, I feel yeah. like it's like exciting. So it's like naturally like, oh. Keep going, pump it up. Yeah. Baby. <laughs> okay. We're basically Branch and Johnny, re, reborn, even though they're both still alive. <laughs> reborn. Uh, I'm obviously Branch Warren. She's clearly Johnny Jackson. Look yeah, at her traps. Look at, come on. Come on. Look at those bad boys. Especially with this. Come on, Johnny. Am I doing it right? <laughs> Good enough. No? How do you guys really do it? I have no idea. I don't like have that, traps either. Like so. that ugly thing? Yeah, that one. Looks weird. <laughs> Stupid. Okay, let me oh, go to my God. next one. Fuck. Ooh. I felt really good. God, look how vascular my shoulders are. Holy shit. I could just freaking stick a needle in there. Okay, so I'm gonna do one more. Three sets for the, the dumbbell lateral raises, and then we just have some easy bar curls. Super simple, two sets. Um, but I have a pretty good upper body pump right now. I feel really good. Obviously, we've been traveling a lot and stuff like that, so sometimes coming into the gym, it's a little bit harder for me to get a good pump. But I've been staying super consistent with my meals, just my whole routine with my steps, training, um, and everything. And it is doable for you guys that think you can't make it happen because you're traveling. You can make things happen if you make it a priority in your life. So, whew, let me get a little sip, my drink, and then I've got one more and then I'm done with these. But yeah, this is a pretty cool gym. Like I said, this is my first time here. Um, definitely like everything, the equipment. Okay, last step. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Wow. I haven't felt this good in a while. Huh. It's my only one, guys, right there. My one set. Huh. Oh, y'all. That's my, my training. Huh. That was a really good workout, obviously. It's great, always training with Jared and us kind of going through my muscle cycle and what I'm gonna be doing for my training. Um, more videos to come for sure. And I hope you guys enjoy that. And now it is time to go eat, shower, and enjoy the rest of my day here in Vegas. <laughs>